Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this short random gaming news, where today we're going to take a look at some news for Fall Guys. So buckle up and dress up in your best Fall Guys gears. Also, check out those links in the description for the social media stuff and the special link that actually helps me out personally. The channel news uh, here quickly for you guys is that I did actually start a new Twitch account, Vape and Plane. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, that'll be in the link in the description as well. We will be streaming on the weekends, just me and my friends, so we're going to just ha have some fun. Go ahead and follow so you guys don't miss out on that. Make sure you are sharing this video so that way you can help out the channel. Like it if you did enjoy today's video. Subscribe with the bell icon turned on for more videos like this and let's go ahead and start the video. So we have the Fall Guys Jelly Bean Guy showing up in a few games like in Skyrim where the little Jelly Bean Guys can be added into the game just for you to play around with. But in Resident Evil 3 has a mod that turns Carlos and Jill into Fall Guys cosplayers that dresses up in little cute Jelly Bean costumes. Not much more, just wanted to talk about uh, them looking like the Fall Guys uh, Jelly Bean Guy. Next we have Fall Guys going to mobile, at least in China, and which isn't really that unusual because as PUBG actually did this kind of thing when it first came out. It it did have a different version that actually launched on the mobile platform and it would seem that Fall Guys is getting the same kind of treatment as Billy Billy, I don't know if I'm saying that name right, but there you go, Billy Billy, name on screen, is going to be developing Jelly Bean Ultimate Knockout and so far 150,000 people have actually signed up to test the app. So I just hope that we get the same kind of thing over on the state side here because it is something that does have really simple controls and I would think that it would translate well over to a mobile version of the game, but we'll have to wait and see if they do the same thing in the states here. Lastly. Here here we have Joe Walsh, who's uh, one of the creative heads over at uh, Media Tonic, actually talking to Kotaku on the success and future of Fall Guys. It would seem that they didn't even expect Fall Guys to be such a big hit, and oh boy were they just wrong about all that. It would seem that it's a sleeper hit of the summer, and as y you could tell, you know, it should be, because it's just basically Mario Party with Battle Royale added in, turned up to 11. Walsh did go on to say, our highest estimates have been absolutely obliterated by the actual response. You can't plan for those kind of things. You can't predict it and sometimes it's just right place right time and Welsh went on to say always felt like a good idea but the studio didn't imagine just how much of a success this title would become and as soon as you start thinking about your game being a success you feel like you're just going to jinx it. So what is it that made Fall Guys a big success? And in my opinion, it's actually a combination of two things. Us being locked inside of COVID-19, and some of it actually the game being given away for free over on PS4 for their Plus memberships this month. Plus, there's another element that actually Walsh hit on in the interview that uh, the game is somewhat of a game show, and he actually had this to say. Game shows are built on variety, and they're built on novelty. So far, Fall Guys has achieved this goal by being the greatest game show ever made, and we need to create the sort of variety and the sort of novelty. And I have to say that Welsh actually says it the best here, That, and I do agree with that statement. It also seems that Mediatonic wants to add more to the game modes to this game as new interesting ways to play it, um, as well as bringing a squad mode to the game and a special playlist with weird combinations of rounds. You know, and I will let you know um, what you guys think about this down in the comments below, but what I think about it is, is that this is awesome. I fucking love Fall Guys so far. It's like Mario party on crack and I hope we get more of it soon. Now before we go, I just wanted to take a look at this new LEGO set that m we might actually get if it does actually get up to 10,000 supporters. Um, and this is the Fall Guys Ultimate Brickout. Now this was actually tweeted out by Brick and Nick, but if it does, like I said, get up to 10,000 supporters, it would actually be something that becomes a real life thing. And if you're watching this and you're like, I need that in my life, well there's a link down below that you can click on and go support this product just like I did. Well there you have it, a jam-packed Fall Guys news episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hit the like button to let me know that you did. Make sure that you guys are leaving your thoughts down about anything in the comments below please check out those links in the descriptions as i did make that new twitch account so you guys can come and watch me and my friends play some games on the weekends here and check out that personal link that actually helps me out personally i'd be greatly appreciative of that share the video to help out the channel the most subscribe with the bell icon turned on and have a wonderful fucking gaming night